So it's well, this aracoline hydrobromide, this betel nut extract, this arco fuel, shit's causing cancer? Yeah. Can you believe that shit? It's the Games Trust. So what's the deal, Swall? Break it down for the viewers at home, man. So there's a new new ingredient out in the, in the supplement industry that's just come out and it's in a lot of, of stimulant-based pre-workouts. Well, it's, it's a stimulant and a psychoactive ingredient. So, yeah, which is perfect for, for a, for a pre-workout. So, mm. And it's come in, uh, in a few products recently, probably over the last month or so, and, and it's caused a lot of conjecture, I would say, because uh, there's some studies that have come out that says it can, it's a carcinogenic, it can cause cancer. It's, it's, it's caused a lot of discussion in it particular has, on social time. media. So the product is called aracoline hydrobromide. It's uh, also known as arcofuel and naturally it occurs, it's uh, an extract of the betel nut or mm. the beetle nut, depending yeah. on how you want to pronounce it. Mm. We're gonna pop a link in the description box. The first link in the description box is gonna be onto the Supplement Simplified article on aracoline hydrobromide, so that you guys can go have a read and figure out exactly what it does, where it comes from, and, and get a bit of a basis for mm. this ingredient. Yeah. Now this gains trust, we got to address some of the discussion going around. Well, it is, yeah, because we, we want the people to know what, what it is, what exactly what's going on, because people will be hearing things and, yeah. and we want to give them the truth the, well, of exactly what's going on, break it down for everyone. 100%. So what this Gains Trust is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be purely facts. Hmm. We're just going to report the facts and we're going to give you guys a bunch of links. And then the second part is we're going to give our opinion on some of the discussion. Yeah. That has been going around. Exactly, that's what we want to do. Because you know, you guys are up to, it's up to you guys what you want to put in your body. The viewers at home, is your decision. We can't force 100%. you to do anything. So 100%. we just want to give you guys the information to make an informed decision. That's it. Um, because yeah, there's a lot of a lot of news flying around the, the social media. There's a lot of talk. A lot of talk, yeah. So the facts. The first thing we have here in our hands is a letter from the written by the lawyers to the company that manufactures some of these pre-workout supplements that contain aracoline hydrobromo. So we're gonna read, well I'm gonna read this word for word straight out of this level. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it's three pages long. It's a big I'm letter. just gonna read uh, a couple of extracts. So the first extract is, research has indicated that the chewing of the beetle nut may be linked to cancer of the mouth and the esophagus. However, I, this is being the lawyer that's writing this letter, am unaware of any evidence indicating there are safety issues associated with the consumption of aracoline hydrobromide. In fact, it has been studied for potential benefits in addressing diabetes, including several studies conducted with rats. The letter then goes on to say, it is our opinion, legal opinion, that aracoline hydrobromide is a permissible dietary ingredient in that it is the extract of a botanical substance, the areca nut palm, aka the beetle nut palm. The FDA has not, to our knowledge, indicated that there is any safety issue associated with aracoline hydrobromide. That's that letter. Mm. The other thing we're going to do, we're not going to do it in this video because it's going to take a long time, but we're going to put as many links in the description box as we possibly can to studies done on the beetle nut yeah. and studies done on the extract of the beetle nut, the aracoline hydrobromide. Mm. So you There's guys can, them, you can take what we've just read you in this letter and you can uh, marry that up with as many of the studies as you want to read and you can make your own decision on whether or not you think that consuming mm. supplements that contains this substance, aracoline hydrobromide, in isolation to betel nut because mm. this, the, the supplements do, the, different things, the, subs yeah. the supplements don't contain betel nut, they no, contain the extract. Exactly. Yeah. And you guys can make up your own decision on whether or not you think that this particular ingredient in the dosages that it is in, in certain supplements, is going to be carcinogenic. Exactly. Yeah. That's the facts. Now the fun part where we get to give our opinion and you guys control us as much this as you This is where the right? trolling yeah. begins. <laughs> if the trolls have made it this far into the video, because a lot of them mother don't it's, even click the clay, then click the play button to actually start commenting and trolling before they've even watched the video. Exactly. Yeah. So, and yeah. we can see that shit. But anyway, our opinion. True. Yeah. So, the way I, I sort of see it, and like Joe said, this is just our opinion, is the, the uh, Ar um, aracoline. Aracoline hydrobromide. hydrobromide is an extract of the betel nut. Now, the betel nut was found in Asia. 
I Correct. believe, yeah, and is yeah. is is chewed by by people in. Well, it's, yeah, it's it, almost it, the it, same as chewing tobacco. Well, even even more widely used. Yeah, is, is what I believe from the studies that I have read, and the links in the description box. You guys can go check them out. But something like two billion people chew it. True, the beetle nut. Yeah, it's a tiny little nut too. I checked it out yeah. last night. So yeah, you know, it's, it's in a, a, tiny in a similar that, fashion to chewing tobacco. Exactly, exactly so, correct. And that's where obviously they think the 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 cancer relation comes from. Same as with chewing tobacco, chewing tobacco will actually Smoking cause tobacco will actually cause you know cancer of some sort. Yeah. But you know, it's it's completely different to an extract that's actually being synthesized in a lab. Um, with the same sort of, I guess, forms as as your beetle nut to make your aracoline hydrobromide. So exactly. It's and this is this is one thing that I think a lot of people, just reading what's going around on social media at the moment, a lot of people are having a hard time distinguishing the delivery method exactly. for aracoline hydrobromide, which naturally is chewing the beetle nut, yeah. versus synthetically produced aracoline hydrobromide. And a lot yeah. of people are saying, no, it causes cancer. The, the fact of the matter is, and you guys can go read the studies and figure this out for yourself, it's the chewing of the beetle nut that causes cancer mm. in the esophagus. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, or it's not mouth. causing or not causing cancer in in your stomach or something That's like that. That's correct. It's caught in around the direct area of where you're chewing it. That's correct. Is where you're actually getting And the best the, cancer. the best analogy that we can make is with tobacco and nicotine. Yeah. Nicotine in itself doesn't cause lung cancer, no. mouth cancer. No. Smoking cigarettes causes lung cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Chewing tobacco causes mouth cancer. Exactly. So, so you have to be able to differentiate and I encourage you guys when when you read these studies, differentiate between the studies that are done specifically on the extract aracoline hydrobromide and beetle nut, and the studies that yeah. are done on the chewing of the beetle nut to get the aracoline hydrobromide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's the first thing, and, and yeah. you just just be very very careful about which studies you're reading and what they're actually testing for in those studies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, and I guess you know, from a personal opinion of mine, you know, and I've taken the products that have actually got that in there. This is how I'm concerned about this product. When I first heard about it, yeah, I was like, whoa, whoa, what are they putting this in in a in a supplement for? Well, I think everybody was. But then you know, when you read into it, and you find out exactly what it is, and and you know, the ingredient that's actually put in there. Yeah. It, it eased my mind a little. Little bit to, and I've used used the products that are in there that it's got in there already, and mm. you know, if I if I was worried about it, I wouldn't be using those products. You would wouldn't I? use it exactly. Yeah. So the second thing I want to give an opinion on is that the studies, and you guys once again go read the studies, check this out yourself. That were done on the extract. So put the beetle nut thing aside. Yeah. Just done on the extract aracoline hydrobromide are mega mega doses. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge doses. Yeah. Like, and that's that's the issue you get when you're not doing human trials. You're doing them on rats and mice that are, yeah. you know, what one two hundredth of our size. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Almost. A, you know, a mouse so. weighs like twenty grams, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the average so, human weighs like what? Sixty-five, years, seventy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's. It's it's tough when you do comparisons like that, and you know the the age of a mouse yeah. is what two, two or years. three years, and yep. then they're, they're done. Yeah. Um, whereas a human, their life's a lot longer. So that's the one thing you have to read into studies, and you know I'm I'm all for people doing clinical studies, but you need to make sure they're done accurately as well. Well, you need to make sure if if for example, and there is one study going around where they did give the extract to uh, mice, and off the top of my head, you guys can go read the study to get the actual facts, but off the top of my head, one milligram of aracoline hydrobromide mm. was given to mice yeah. uh, five days per week, every week for the lifespan of those mice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so two years. Yeah. And you have to not then translate that to using one milligram in a human because that's not the human equivalent mm. dose. Yeah. The human equivalent dose or the HED as it's sometimes referred to of that particular study would be something in the order of 250 to 300 milligrams yeah. in a human yeah. every day, five days a week for 80 years. So with, let's just break, so with the, the pre-workouts that are in there at the moment, yeah. do we know how much? Two to four grams, okay. depending on the pre-workout. Yeah. Uh, sorry, two to four milligrams. Milligrams, yeah. Depending yeah, yeah. on the pre-workout. Yeah. So, so in order to get the 250 milligram human equivalent dose. How much are we taking? You're talking like 60, 70 tubs a day, every day, five days a week well, for that, your entire life. <laughs> that's, that's how I usually take my pre-workout. And I take it every day for 80 years. So, so that, that's something else that you need to consider when reading these studies. And yeah. then the, you know, a good segue, well that's a good segue into the fact that if you mega dose anything, 
anything. Anything. In particular, many ingredients in pre-workout supplements, in particular artificial sweeteners yeah. and flavors which are used in every pre-workout supplement. You make a dose that shit and you are going to get cancer. Anyway. They're going to be carcinogenic. There's, exactly. there's How many studies are there on sucralose and aspartame and um, ACE-K, all yeah. of these artificial yeah. sweeteners that are in every supplement on yeah. the market or well, not even supplements the everyday things that people well, take food. you know you exactly. take yeah you take food you take you know flavored soft drinks things yeah. like that if, you, if you're taking that and then saying oh shit i don't want to take this pre-workout because yeah. it could give me cancer well yeah. guess what you know you, you're drinking aspartame and all that other bad shit that's probably going to give you cancer anyway 100 percent. So, so when you mega dose anything to the extent that a lot of these studies are mega dosing uh, yeah. when you when you convert to the human equivalent dose you know, you, you're, everything is going to cause yeah. cancer. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything is going to be carcinogenic. Yeah, and so. that's that's the thing is, it, like you said we, earlier, we want you guys to make an informed de um, decision about this. Make your own decision, um, 100%. But yeah, like I said, for, for me personally, I've used the products um, and after reading the studies, I, I haven't had a concern because you pick holes in those studies to say, well, you know, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, sure, it, it killed the rat, the rat or my, mice or whatever they used, but you know, is that going to kill a human? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, that's what, what so I, I sort of got out of them. So well, that's exactly right. So you guys make up your own mind. The studies are, uh, we've, we've read the letter, we've given the legal opinion. The mm. studies are, as many studies as we can, are posted in the description box. Uh, links are below. Go read them, make up your own opinion. You've got our opinion on yeah. the situation. And that's the one more thing, man. Why would, why would these companies put this product in their, in their uh, products? Yeah. You know, if, if they were going to get Five years down the track, they were going to get letters from people saying they got cancer from this particular product. They'd be sued for yeah. billions and billions of dollars. Do you think they'd be stupid enough to actually put it in their product? Well, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't, you know. It, so It doesn't make a whole yeah, lot of sense at yeah. all. But we're not forcing you guys to take anything. Make your own decision exactly. on it. And then if you feel that the risk outweighs the reward, don't take the products that have aracoline hydrobromide in there. Yeah. If you feel that you can pick through the studies and figure out that they're pretty much saying everything is going to give you cancer, then go ahead and take the supplements mm. that have aracola and hydrobromide. Yeah, exactly. So, well, do you have anything else you'd like to add? That's it, man. Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of the Gains Trust and everything else on our YouTube channel. Where are we coming to and from, Swap? Masterjoes.com. Stay, man.